Let's go back in time for a little while. I know, I know, you're saying history and science, but it's really important for you to know about the history of astronomy to see where the study of astronomy is going in today's technology. But what is astronomy? Astronomy is the study of our solar system, the stars, the moon, the sun, and how we use tools to study those things. Patterns and eclipses. In history, people and cultures, different cultures, used their eyes to observe patterns in the sky. These patterns included the seasons, the phases of the moon, the rising setting of the sun every day. Think of other patterns that you see. Solar and lunar eclipses also happened in ancient times and still happen today. People in history thought that eclipses were signs of bad things to come. They made predictions, observed and recorded the movements of the sun and the moon and these eclipses happening. A solar eclipse is when the moon blocks the sunlight. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth casts a shadow on the moon. They, these are rare events. They don't happen very often. So that's why ancient peoples thought they had they meant something bad was going to happen. So here, is this a solar or lunar eclipse? Is this the moon blocking the sun's light? Or is this when Earth casts a shadow on the moon? If you said solar eclipse, you're right. So what's this? A solar or lunar eclipse? If you said lunar, and you would be right because the earth is casting a shadow on the moon causing you not to be able to see the full moon. Some examples of astronomy around the world in history are Stonehenge, which I'll show you a picture of on the following slides, the Songde Observatory in Korea, and the Pyramid at Chichen Itza, Mexico. So here are the stones at Stonehenge. Most scientists agree, but some don't, that the stone circles were linked to astronomy and the people that built Stonehenge had a good understanding of the cycle of the sun and the seasons. This is because there are stones that point in the position of the sky where the sun rises and sets on the longest day of the year. Other stones arranged around in Stonehenge mark the rising of the sun or the moon at other times during the year. On the top left-hand corner is the Kumsung Day Observatory on the Korean Peninsula. A hole at the top allowed people to view the stars and planets. Many similar observatories are found all over East Asia, but this one is the oldest. On the bottom right are the pyramids at Chichen Itza in Mexico. Um, people built this large pyramid with each side having 91 steps. So four sides times 91 steps is 364, but there is one more step at the top of the platform equaling 365 days, or 365 steps. People have made the connection that there are obviously 365 days in a year, so that each step represents a day in the year. And like I said before, ancient peoples used astronomy to help them make calendars, and look for patterns. Some ancient tools of the trade. An astrolabe measured the angle between the horizon and the star or a planet. You adjusted the astrolabe to show what the sky would look like at a particular time or place. Astrolabes became more sophisticated as time went on, as did telescopes. Telescopes work by magnifying faraway objects in the sky. Galileo was the first person to use a telescope in astronomy, although he didn't invent it. Galileo's telescope used lenses to focus light and magnify distant objects. After Galileo died, Isaac Newton developed a reflecting telescope. This reflecting telescope used a curved mirror and allowed people to see objects that were dimmer and farther away in sharper detail. So this was a technological advance after Galileo died. 
Today, we have very high-tech telescopes. They gather light and concentrate it, and the more light that reaches your eye, the brighter an object will seem. So telescopes have become much bigger and much better since the time of Newton's reflecting telescope. There are also some things called radio telescopes that detect radio waves and kind of look more like satellite dishes than telescopes. So here I'm going to show you a basic summary video of telescopes and how history has affected astronomy. Since the dawn of civilization, man has been looking up, trying to make sense of the heavens. Navigation, the calendar, the 24-hour clock, all products of man's early attempts at astronomy. We do astronomy to answer humanity's oldest questions. It seems to be a natural part of human curiosity to wonder most about the things that seem most inaccessible or infinite. The heavy atoms that make up the Earth and our bodies were fused many millions of years ago in the core of a long dead star. Understanding the universe in a very profound way is understanding ourselves. makes astronomy one of the most fundamental and most interesting of scientific pursuits. We study the universe by observing light. For thousands of years, the essential instrument we had was our eyes. That changed 400 years ago with the invention of the first telescope. The last 400 years have really revolutionized our view of, of the, the universe we live in, our place in that, and that's because of the telescope. We can reach out from our place on the surface of the Earth and go places where previously only our imaginations would take us. A telescope is a light bucket, and that's how we understand the universe, through light. We can't put a star into a beaker in a lab and squeeze it and poke it and test it. All we can do is point our telescopes up at the heavens and collect light. Faint starlight pouring into a telescope is gathered in the primary mirror. Like a basin for catching rainwater, the bigger the mirror, the more light it can collect. From there, the light reflects into a smaller secondary mirror, where it is condensed into a single beam and focused onto a high-resolution camera. Astronomers in the 21st century are in a very fortunate position because we have technology at our disposal that limits what we can do pretty much just to our imagination. So there you have it, the history of astronomy and telescopes.